Bardak take on their rival's Red Army. Avangar face Lada while Yugur do battles after on the list. All that and more in today's Daily KHL update. We'll make our first stop in Vladivostok where Admiral play Hells to Gunlun Red Star. The sale is scored first in this one as it could have gone on a two-man advantage. Victor Alexander was his tenth of the season to complete the great passing play. Late in the period, the puck bounces to the point, Anton Volchenko fires it on net and scores his first goal of the year. That's his second career KHL marker. Less than a minute into the second period, Admiral broke the lead to 3 0. Vladimir Kachov buries the rebound from in tight. Kunlun don't sit in South though. Middle through the period, Lucas Lesser snipes a top shot for his force and the Dragons are on the board. Early in the third period, Taylor back finds an opening with a wonderful backhand shot. Jonas Jarvinen picks up assist on both markers and Kulra back to within one. But Admiral don't let it slip away from them. Late in regulation, Vladimir Kachov scores his second of the game and 14th of the season. It comes on a power play and that's the last goal of the game. Admiral enjoy their fourth consecutive win over the Dragons. Tonight they take it 4-2 on home ice. We continue on to Omsk where the Hawks challenge Lada, who can win at this mix since 2009. Avant got scored first, just on 8 minutes in, they want to face up in the offensive end, and if getting a bit better, fires it home for his ninth. Late in the period, Lada can run on a power play to tie it up. Georgi Belosov snipes it on the short side. Then is there enough and Sanislav Bacharov with the assist. A couple of minutes into the second period, Avangard regained the lead. Kirill Simeonov finds the back of the net just as Lada kill off a penalty. But early in the third period, Lada bring it back to even again. Kirill Kapusin for his tenth of the season on a breakaway. Middle to the period, Yunus Anilov sets up Maxim Chidina for a point shot and Chidina blasts it past Anton Krasalkin to make it 3-2 Avangard. A few minutes later, Krasalkin can glove the puck out of the year, chaos ensues and Yunus Anilov hammers it home for his second of the year. That's gonna do it. The Hawks beat Lada for the fifth consecutive time at home ice. 4 2 is your final on this one. Head over to Hunter Mansisk now, where Yugur defend the ice against top of the list. No scoring in the first, but there's plenty in the second. Early in the period, Nikolai Tivashov puts the puck on net from the point, and it goes straight in. One nothing up to the list. Seven minutes later, P.A. Parenteau throws it in front to Denis Kolash, and Kolash redirects it in for his eighth of the season. A bit unusual to see him score from that area. Two minutes after that, up the list get another power play, and they can on it as well. This time, Alexander Torchinyuk finds the back of the net with a tip end. Just after that, they get another man advantage and they get another goal out of it. Alexander Kuchirevenko with the marker. After Amelie scored three power play goals on five attempts, Vladimir Sadhatsky stops 29 shots for his first shutout of the year and they take it 4 0 on the road. We're now in chair for Vets where Severstal welcomes Slovan. And they combine for a lot of goals. We get to see first of them nine minutes in. Tomasz Grinka converts into two on one rush. Pavel Skalitsky with the assist. Severstal get on the board a minute later. Maxim Rubin finds the loose puck in the slot and scores one of the easiest goals of his career. Slovan retake the lead late in the period as they capitalize on a man advantage. Uri Mikus sends it in from the hash marks. Middle through the second period, Slovan improves the lead to 3 1. Mark Vidansky scores another power play goal while Cam Parker and Lukas Kospar pick up the assists. But it's all Severstal after that. A few minutes later, Dmitry Kogorliski scores a shorthanded goal to bring home team back to within one. Middle to the third frame, Kogorliski scores his second of the game and 14th of the season. He comes with a power play and it's a 3 3 tie now. Four minutes later, Kogorliski feeds Alexander Bumagin cross ice and Bumagin one times at home on the short side to put Severstal in the lead. And they secure the win with an empty net by Maxim Rubin late in regulation. Kogorlitsky records his ninth career 3.9 and Severstal wins the thrill of 5-3 on home ice.
And now to Moscow, where a great rivalry game takes place. Spartak take on Red Army, but it's not much of a contest. The Red and Blue opened up the score in two minutes into the second period. Pat Robinson wires the pass to Kitty Pispala for his fourth. Beautiful for the period, Kirill Petrov skates in front from behind the net, falls down, Alexander Popov makes a quick pass down low, and Valery Nichuski nets his 11. Just over a minute later, Maxim Shalunov keeps the play alive, moves the puck to Kirill Kaprizov, cross ice pass to Sergei Shumakov, and Shumakov scores in a wide open net. 3 0 Red Army now. And with just 12 seconds remaining to play in regulation, they could run on a two man advantage to put a chair on top. Artyom Blazhevsky with the marker. Lars Jukelson stops 18 shots for his second consecutive shutout, and Red Army get their fourth shutout win in a row. Tonight, they beat Spartak 4 0. We go on to Nizhny Novgorod now, a torpedo lays him up against Vidas. Eight minutes into the game, Holtin strikes twice in the span of 34 seconds. For Sergei Kostinsen, that's his fourth of the year on the rebound to convert on a power play. And short left of that, Jeffrey Kinrich slams it past Sergei Saprikin with a huge clapper from the point. Late in the second period, Torpedo capitalized on another power play. Mikhail Grigorov scores his fourth of the year with a quick shot from the top of the left circle. Seven minutes into the third, Prambitas get on the board as well. And it's another power play goal. Alexander Nikulis plus his tenth. But just a few minutes later, Yevgeny Mazar restores the three-goal margin and essentially puts it in a bag. Ivan Zakharchuk finishes the net with three assists and Torpedo take it 4-1 on home ice. And there's just one more score to tell you about. Mikhail Varnikov scored late in the third period and Dynamo Moscow beat Yorkid 1-0 on the road. And that's it for it, okay, chill update. Do come back tomorrow though for two more games. Ogbars will face Lokomotor while Sachi will take on SK St. Petersburg. My name is Andrea Sachinka, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.